Story nine of Uncle Wiggily's Travels. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Lynn Thompson. Uncle Wiggily's Travels by Howard Roger Garris. Story nine Uncle Wiggily and the Lost Chipmunk. Uncle Wiggily was walking along the road one morning after he had slept all night in the hollow stump He didn't have any breakfast either for there was nothing left in his valise and of course he couldn't eat his barber pole crutch If the crutch had had a hole in it like the elephant's trunk then the old gentleman rabbit could have carried along some sandwiches But as it was he had nothing for breakfast and he hadn't had much supper either the night before Oh, how hungry I am exclaimed uncle wiggily if only I had a piece of cherry pie now or an ice cream cone Or a bit of bread and butter and jam. I would be all right Well, he just happened to open his valise and there on the very bottom among some papers He found a few crumbs of the honey sandwiches the bumblebee had given him Well, you never can imagine how good those few crumbs tasted to the old gentleman rabbit which shows you that it is a good thing to be hungry once in a while because even common things taste good But the crumbs weren't enough for uncle wiggily as he walked along He kept getting hungrier and hungrier and he didn't know how he was going to stand it Then all of a sudden as he was passing by a hollow stump He saw a whole lot of little black creatures crawling around it They were going up and down and they were very busy why these are ants said the rabbit well i suppose they have plenty to eat i almost wish i was an ant well well exclaimed a voice all at once if here isn't uncle wiggily where did you come from and there stood a second cousin to the ant for whom uncle wiggily had once carried home a pound of beefsteak with mushrooms on it oh i am traveling about seeking my fortune said the rabbit but i haven't been very successful I couldn't even find my breakfast this morning That's too bad exclaimed the ant who wore glasses We can give you something however come on everybody help get breakfast to uncle wiggily So the ants came running up and some of them bought pieces of boiled eggs and others bought oatmeal and others parts of oranges and still others parts of cups of coffee so take it all together with seventeen million four hundred and seventeen thousand one hundred and eighty five ants and a baby ant to wait on him Uncle Wiggily managed to make out a pretty fair sort of breakfast Well after the old gentleman rabbit had eaten all the breakfast he could he thanked the kind ants and said goodbye to them Then he started off again He hadn't gone very far through the woods before all of a sudden he saw something bright and shining under a blackberry bush well, I do declare cried the old gentleman rabbit. I think that looks like gold. I hope I'm not fooled this time I will go up very slowly and carefully Perhaps I shall find my fortune now So up he walked very softly and he stooped down and picked up the shining thing and what do you think it was? Why a bright new penny as shiny as gold Good luck cried uncle wiggily i am beginning to find money soon i will be rich and then i can stop traveling and he put the penny in his pocket well no sooner had he done so than he heard someone crying over behind a raspberry bush oh such a sad cry as it was and the old gentleman rabbit knew right away that someone was in trouble who is there he asked as he felt in his pocket to see if his penny was safe for he thought that was the beginning of his fortune oh I'm lost cried the voice I came to the store to buy a chocolate lollipop and I can't find my way back and then out from behind the raspberry bush came a tiny little striped chipmunk with the tears falling down on her little paws oh you poor little dear cried uncle wiggily and so you are lost well don't you know what to do as soon as you are lost you must go to a policeman and ask him to take you home Policemen always know where everybody lives 
but there are no policemen here said the chipmunk who was something like a squirrel only smaller that's so agreed uncle wiggily well pretend that i am a policeman and i'll take you home where do you live if i knew said the chipmunk i would go home myself all i know is that i live in a hollow stump hmm exclaimed uncle wiggily there are so many hollow stumps here that i can't tell which one it is we will go to each one and when you find the one that is your home just tell me but that is not the worst said the chipmunk i have lost my bright new penny that my mamma gave me for a chocolate lollipop oh dear isn't it terrible perhaps this is your penny said the old gentleman rabbit a bit sadly taking from his pocket the one he had found it's the very one cried the lost chipmunk joyfully oh how good of you to find it for me well thought uncle wiggily with a sorrowful sigh as he handed over the penny i thought i had found the beginning of my fortune but i've lost it again never mind i'll try tomorrow so he gave the penny to the chipmunk and she stopped crying right away and took hold of uncle wiggily's paw and he led her around to all the hollow stumps until she found the right one where she lived and he bought her an ice cream cone because he felt sorry for her and just as she was eating it along came a big black bear and he wanted half of it but very luckily the july bug flew past just then and he bit the bear in the eyes so that the bad bear was glad enough to run home taking his little stumpy tail with him then the chipmunk took uncle wiggily back to her home and he stayed with her papa and mamma all night now in case the rocking chair on our porch doesn't tip over in the middle of the night and scare the pussycat off the railing i'll tell you next about uncle wiggily and the black cricket end of story nine